Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to an impromptu upload on Smile to Jannah. Smile to Jannah. <laughs> Right, so Boris had his interview today on the BBC and the word Quran, actually the word Koran with a K was trending on Twitter. So I had to check out what Boris has been bumbling on about now. Before we get into it, Boris Johnson was supposed to be interviewed by Andrew Neil, the same guy who interviewed Jeremy Corbyn. And he's quite a tough interviewer so Naturally Boris was apprehensive. When this terrorist attack happened, naturally Boris being Boris, he used that to his advantage and went for the easier of the two Andrews. You have said that it'd be one bounce and you're out on Islamophobia in the Conservative Party. We, you know, we have a one, one bounce and, and we deal with it, approach to this. Your candidate Carl McCartney, an election candidate, has had multiple retweets of Tommy Robinson. Because I am the king of the whole Islam race! If there was a war and it kicked off, I would be there on the front line fighting for Israel. He's still inside the Conservative Party. One bounce and, and we deal with it. Your candidate Anthony Brown has suggested Muslim leaders at the time of Iraq had divided loyalties. He's still inside. Yeah, good try Boris, but the response needs to be in English, yeah? Not in Morse code. Not not many bounces, they're still inside the Conservative well, Party. One bounce and, and we deal with it. Th there is an independent process which needs to consider all uh, such accusations of prejudice of any kind, and we're ruthless about that. Oh. And if, they're, if people are okay. convicted, uh, then they're out. Man, there's so much waffling here. I can taste the blueberries and maple syrup. But there was a prominent conservative who said to any non-Muslim reader of the Quran, Islamophobia, fear of Islam, seems a natural reaction and indeed exactly what that text is intended to provoke. Judge purely on its scripture to say nothing of what is preached in the mosque. It is the most viciously... Why are you shaking your head? You said it mate, in The Spectator in 2005. Sectarian of all religions and its heartlessness no. towards unbelievers. That was Boris Johnson. Do you stand by that? One bounce and we deal with it. This statement alone is enough to bury Boris. Think about it. If Corbyn said something similar against Jewish people, that guy would be finished now. Uh, people are always going to drag out bits and pieces that I've written over the years. What? So if we carry on digging, we're gonna find more. Mate, that's a concern in itself. And to be fair, this is how Muslims feel. I know loads of speakers and scholars who have been banned from ISOCs and institutions because they've said something like 10 years ago when they were young and reckless and it's been brought up now and it's been considered as their main view. In order to distract from the fundamental issues at this election. Hang on a minute, so you don't think Islamophobia is a fundamental issue? I have a record of campaigning for uh, ca against prejudice of all kinds. <sighs> More waffling. Mate, I don't think I have enough space after that last one. I don't know what ingredient you put in there, mate. I think I'm getting the runs. Indeed, I'm proud to say my great-grandfather knew the Quran off by heart. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Let me get this straight. So your father's father's father learnt the Quran, sorry, Quran. So it's okay for you and your party to make Islamophobic comments. That's like saying, Yeah, I got a mum and two sisters, I can't be a misogynist. Or everyone's favourite, I've got a black friend, I'm not a racist. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up for the future Prime Minister of the UK. You watch, people are still gonna vote for this guy. Until next time guys. One bounce and we deal with it. Assalamu alaikum.